no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder jesus himself is called the prince of peace it says peace i give you my peace i live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding i'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um, all kinds of things may the peace of god be given to you this night may the peace of god be given to you this night in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ you are about to experience a transformative journey with Apostle Joshua Selma in this powerful sermon. This profound teaching will deepen your understanding of faith, purpose, and spiritual growth. Get ready for a soul-stirring encounter that will inspire and empower you. Hallelujah. A few scriptures and I will speak over your life. Please, I want you to receive it. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. Media, let's walk together very quickly. Deuteronomy 30. God, thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand, in the fruit of thy body, in the fruit of thy cattle, and in the fruit of thy land. It says, For the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good. In the name of Jesus. Therefore, I prophesy, let plenty locate you. Ah, someone is receiving, let plenty locate you. In this season, I drive scarcity from you. Let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Deuteronomy 7.15, 7.15. Deuteronomy 7 15. The Lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee. Therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity. Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore I decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of Jesus it will not find expression in your life Isaiah 58 11 58 11 Isaiah it says the Lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting a loud amen every confusion every misdirection in your life going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time find accuracy of direction now let's finish the scripture and satisfy your soul in famine and make fat your bones that thou shalt be like a well a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not i prophesy supplies to your life in the name of jesus christ psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame listen he said because you lord will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me he says show me a sign the sign that god needs to show in your life to bring to an end the shame and the mockery may god show that sign this week may god show that sign this week may my god show that sign this week in the name of jesus christ listen they looked at elisha 
and they were wondering could this be the person to succeed elisha he did not look like it but when a sign came upon him the bible says he turned the sign was to part jordan and when he said where is the lord god of elijah and jordan parted hither and tither the prophet saw and they said truly the spirit of elijah don't rest upon elijah i don't know what sign god needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed to let everyone know that finally speed has landed but i say again this week may god show that sign this week may my god show that sign in the name of jesus christ psalm isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 4 isaiah 43 and verse 4 43 and verse 4 do we have that projected it says since thou was precious in my sight thou has been honorable and i have loved thee therefore will i give men for thee and people for your life listen do you know what this means listen to my message the gift of men you are as wealthy as the men god bring in your life you are not just as wealthy as the things when you have things you are limited things cannot love you things cannot be there for you when god really wants to help a man he gives that man men let me speak over someone you have things but you lack men i pray for you men that includes help us men that includes comfort us men that includes financiers men that includes prophetic people to speak this week may god bring quality men to show up in your life may god bring quality men to show up in your life in the name of jesus finally numbers chapter 6 from verse 24 numbers 26 24 the lord bless thee ah you didn't hear that the lord bless thee the lord bless thee the lord keep thee listen do you know what it means for god to keep you have to make reference to john 17 and verse 1 he says he came to him and he said glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you when you read down to verse 6 it says all that you have given me i have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition he says look for it as it's somewhere there john 17 all that you have given me i have kept he says and none is lost except the son of perdition and that's that the scripture might be fulfilled he said but, but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day so when he says the lord keep you it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands beyond the reach of curses beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things now that you understand let me say it again the lord keep you the lord keep you 25 the lord make his face to shine upon you listen do you know what this means every time you hear the face of god shining upon a man that is favor you find that in the life of moses you find that in psalm 44 and verse 3 give it to us very quickly for they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them but thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance that is how they became possessors so when he says may he make his face shine upon you it's another way of saying may you be covered completely with the favor of god i pray for you may the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you 26 may the lord lift up his countenance upon you the last blessing right here is something money cannot buy hear me the last blessing right here is something education cannot buy the last blessing right here is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy the Bible says and give thee is a gift if you are not given you cannot have it and give thee peace listen I've told you 
my highest definition of success is not progress is peace no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder jesus himself is called the prince of peace he says peace i give you my peace i live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding i'm praying for you in this troubled world in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people saddled with fear saddled with all kinds of um all kinds of things may the peace of god be given to you this night may the peace of god be given to you this night in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus christ where you have been crawling i place an anointing upon you begin to fly like the eagles begin to fly like the eagles hear me whatever has covered your glory covered your visibility so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor god in your life cannot find you in the name of jesus i tear off that veil now i tear off that veil now find visibility find visibility find visibility in the name of jesus christ hallelujah why have you been here 38 years i have no man to help me not that the water cannot be reached i have no man where is somebody who is in need of one man one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue oh a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue oh a visa come and see me next week i pray for you the one man sent by god to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are i gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah three more prayer points everything that has died in your life chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for god perhaps you came here and it looks like everything god is dying or has died in your life because you see when prayer dies your passion for god dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of god your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of jesus i use the words of jesus talitha kumi it although it was for a little girl but i pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now let it come back to life now dead prayer life come forth dead word study life come forth dead passion for the things of god come forth in the name of jesus christ hallelujah can i pray for your finances will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the lord on that wise You need money you. let me tell you period it's as simple as that there is no other way around it money is not everything but as far as the matters of economy is concerned you will be surprised how crippled your life will be are we together now the person who is sick cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat the person may not have the energy so it's not an issue of is that the appetite is not there but a poor man will pass every shop available everything available but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there and remember when we talk about finances i will emphasize again that this is not some mundane carnal quest for materialism but let me tell you i'm a responsible man of god and i believe in responsible christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of god anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you are we together 
the name of jesus christ is very heavy it takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see the needs that surround your life most of us here if we're to read your prayer request over 70 to 80 percent of them will largely be dependent on finances finance is very important because it can solve so many things cannot give you peace but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace let me tell you one of the reasons one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to caesar what belongs to caesar and give to god what be, if you are owing caesar doesn't matter your relationship with god as far as caesar is concerned the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you when jesus was ministering they came and said you claim to be a man teaching righteousness yet you are owing the law so you must know how to give to caesar what belongs jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to caesar i want to pray for you the kind of christian experience where you love jesus christ but then you are being incapacitated economically i've told you that many people because of this economic backwardness it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise god can bless you so bless you huh, that you solve your financial problems it does not become a concern again your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of god thinking about money day and night is idolatry is a curse it was never supposed to be that way there is nobody an intelligent god will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about that worry is a kind of worship are we together it says let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable many believers love the lord but this finance thing especially within the you know you do not want to compromise your faith but then it must finance listen until you know how to force finance to answer especially co-laborers those who are in ministry here listen to me in all you're getting trust god for grace to sort this money thing once and for all this is not an issue of pride this is this is until that is solved i guarantee you there is a, a man a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned are we together yeah the absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise even in our world today many people who love the lord are forced to bend over and compromise give to caesar what belongs to caesar let me pray for you in the name of jesus it says haven't obtained help from the lord i continue to this day i pray for someone the dimension of wealth you have not seen i call upon my god the god of jeshuron the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may my god surprise you 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 open up strange financial gates for you connect you to strategic helpers give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ hear me and your acquisition of financial resources will not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus the wealthier you are the more passionate you will be about the things of God with it you will be a blessing to many with it you will be a blessing to yourself listen I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. As we draw the curtains on this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman, let the transformative truths shared resonate within your spirit. May the seed of wisdom, faith, and purpose take root, bringing forth abundant fruit in your life. Carry the light of revelation into your week, knowing that you are equipped for victorious living. Stay connected with the divine and continue to grow in the knowledge of God's love and grace until we gather again for another moment of spiritual enrichment. Go forth in confidence, and may your journey be filled with divine favor. If you have any question, drop it on the comment section and we'll get back to you. And don't forget to like, comment, 
subscribe and share this video. God bless you.